Hello, my glorious people of the internet, and I finally, finally got around to playing some Avion. This game's great. It's, uh, I believe an alpha, or early access. It's one or the other, but it's, um, kind of similar to From the Depths. Uh, building, fighting, um, it's more in-depth already, and it's even in a lower stage of development than From the Depths. It's a great game. Um, you should check it out on Steam. It's pretty cheap, and it's a good game. Although, the reason there is no music of this game is that it's copyrighted. Because, yet again, it's an early game. They haven't bought the rights so that they can give it to YouTubers freely. That kind of weird thing. So, I'm going to be putting in some uh, Stellaris music that you'll probably hear about now. Um, and, um, what other things will be changing with this? Oh, heavily edited. This is going to be very, very nice quality content. Um, unlike From the Depths, that's just stitched together. This will actually be some uh, good stuff. So, yeah, we need we need to find iron. We need to we need to find something that we can just not have to have our dinky little drum. So the mining things that we have on here, we can uh, we can mine some resources. And these asteroids, they'll have like sparkles in them, and then we can mine them. So I am gonna have to find some. I have to find some, so I'll be back once I happen upon some shininess that I find. So I, I haven't found any shininess goodness yet, but I have found this thing. Seems to be a dead spacecraft. Now we sh if we're lucky, we can actually hop into this. We should be able to actually hop into this, so... Hold on. I believe there's certain buttons that you can board this thing. I believe it's T or E. Oh, don't bump. Nope, okay, so this thing's just dead. We may be able to mine it and get some stuff off of it, but we're not doing too much damage. Oh, okay, never mind. Maybe I should try to mine this thing. So if you uh, middle click, apparently you can see the health. So if I do this, no, it just blows up in my face. Okay, um, so there's no ore. I'm gonna continue back on my quests finding shininess out somewhere in this vast um, abyss. Haha! -ha, I have identified an asteroid! So if you go like this, you can kind of like hover over things and you can see these asteroids are like grayed out in the boxes in between but then that one's orange when you look at it. So there we go. So it's eight, it's 18 kilometers away. It shouldn't be too far away if I boost over there. Hmm. So there seems to be only friendly ships in this sector and it's not too abundant in resources. It does feel like this place has already been stripped of some resources, or most of its resources. So I figure we will have to move on to a sector pretty soon. All I want to do is get um, some sort of um, very robust ship. Okay, so we got another iron deposit over there. So we should have enough um, to start our first tier ship. I believe there's like eight or nine tiers in this game. So. Yes, I'm going to be heading over here. Do a backflip! We found ore. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. We did it. We did it! Okay, we're going to mine. Thank, thank you, tips. But Okay, okay. Nothing damaged. Um, I do like how it happened to make a tin can noise when we landed on it. Very, very, very realistic. I do think that's how asteroids sound when you bump into them. So, I know there's like a, a resource menu. If you hit shift, you can like move your mouse, mouse around. Tutorial, mail. Um, no, I believe there's a way to see how many resources you have. Hmm. Alright. I'm just going to collect this and then I'll probably start collecting that other rock and I'll try to bring up the HUD in the meantime. Ooh, there's a battle. I'm probably just gonna stay away from that. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, you know, stay away from a fight. Since I am a tiny little bitty itty bitty drone. Okay, so there's another iron over there. I believe there's another one somewhere. Um yeah, right there. Okay, so there we go. So we got a couple. I still haven't been able to bring up the menu. And I tried doing the tutorial, and now it's like Mine resources. It's like, thank you that you're not helping me at, at all. Alright, I finally found 
this thing. You can go to the ship menu and it tells you how much iron you have, which I believe at an earlier point in the game, you were able just to look over there and it would tell you. I'm sure there probably is. Post down in the comments below. That would help me out a lot if I could actually figure out how to do that. It does seem that um, the sector won against the little pirate fight that happened. I don't even know if it was pirates, but we seem to defend ourselves against whatever creepiness was trying to attack us. I know there is aliens in this game, which is very interesting to try to find them. Hmm. Actually, we can actually look at the map real quick. If we scroll out, we got a gal not a, not a universe, about to say a universe, a galaxy, and at the center this is where all the good resources are, but we're on the outer rim, out here. So our basic goal is to get to the center of this, I believe. Like most space games, it's just get to the center of whatever you're in. All right, let's just get to the center. That's our whole point. That is beautiful. Look at that thing flying across the sky. That is amazing. Oh, crash, crash, crash. Is that actually going to crash? Or is my perception screwed up? Oh, my perception screwed up. Okay. I thought I was on the complete opposite side of that. Huh. Alright, so I just collected the last um, rock, iron rock that it was like in this vicinity of this area. Oh, there's a pirate ship. Just going to back off a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, um, so now that we have all of this resources, um, we do need to build like a little bit of ship that's better than this and we slap some guns on there and all that great stuff but 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 first if we actually go to the build menu oh we can't do that so if we hit b v how do we start a new ship oh found ship okay so we can do that uh i don't know how many credits we have though oh we have ten thousand credits okay so we have plenty to build a ship i believe if we go here we have a thousand um that should be enough to like get the basics of one set up so all right, so we're going to go ahead and found a ship. We're going to call this the SSA because that's what I've started calling my stuff in video games. This is SSA. Um, COB. No, the COP. No. This is the COP. Yep, this is the SSS COP. All right, so now we are in this thing. It's a cube. We are essentially a cube floating around space. Great to know. We have all these bad things. Everything's going to poo, um, to say the very least. We are a cube. And we have all these things we have to take care of. So we actually have crew members, what we're supposed to. Um, not enough ma maintenance, um, yaw motion, brake thrust. They're very weak compared to other ships in the region. So we need to expand this thing from, you know, not being a tiny little thing. We can also exit into our drone to, like, fly around and... Um, go click resources and bring back to this thing. So we don't necessarily need to put mining stuff on this um, If we go to build mode real quick, okay, so this is the building in this game. It's very very nice and uh, intriguing. Um, actually, where is Ford? Oh, just bright green arrows. Thank you Thank you. Okay, um, so how much does stuff cost? So 80 credits and 40 Iron. Okay, so we sh I want bare bones for now, and we can always add on to it. So I believe if you hit shift, or is it control? Or, it's one of these. You can, uh, is it Q? Oh, it's Q. Okay, so Q, you can change the size of things. So I do want to make it like this. And after that fact, it does cost less, which is very nice. So I'm going to have a nice little caboose. And, um... We are going to put some of these on the front. You can also scale up and down, I believe, but I don't know how to do that. So that's to rotate. Um, I believe... No, Q is just to go like that. Is X something? Um, or is that found in here? I don't know. It should do us pretty good for now. Oh, we need mirroring. We need that desperately. Oh, so we can actually hit the delete key to delete stuff. Nice. Okay. Um, 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 okay, so we can color stuff. I will want to do that. We need crew quarters. We need, we need, some, we need some of that. All right. Um, where's mirror mode? Mirror mode. Um, okay, mirroring along the x-axis. Okay, 
x-axis and bam oh no that's just hole we need we need thrusters so we can maneuver ourselves I'm gonna put these there so we can you know angle ourselves a bit better basically just gonna kind of have a mouth that's that's basically all we have at the moment um, we are gonna put some of these back here we have inertial dampers um, spaces friction we can do that I do want some crew quarters but I want to figure out how not to make them just huge so I'm actually gonna run the tutorial real quick I'm building um, okay building mode thank you um, to look around okay good good thank you this is your overview in fact I, you know what I'll go through the steps by myself all right so I did I did um, recruit to the tutorial real quick I'm um, building just to figure out how to extend stuff so a I believe is to shorten them um, that is to raise them and that's an S D is to elongate them and W is just to engage them Q also does the same which is weird but okay not going to judge you on your building mechanics game okay so these are the crew quarters okay so we do need some of those so I'm gonna elongate them I'm gonna put them around the sides uh, we do need a thruster and what I have heard from some of my friends on the internet is that length does not matter it's just you know how much surface area they take up so if we that's to do that I don't want to do that um, how would we s no okay put it back down with s and then okay a okay. so there we go now that we have a big old thrust we have a big old thruster in the back um inertial dampeners ion low low durability increase the rotational speed oh okay so we do want some of these so these are like gyroscopes um uh maybe not because at the moment we can just use these to turn ourselves around I don't think that is would be the best the best idea to do so these are directional thrusters so just to make us move back and forwards we're gonna put those right there it's not to move around just to slow down actually going to slap those on on the sides okay and then um, these iron thrusters I'll make a couple more put some on the top and the bottom okay so there we go so now that we have somewhat functioning ship um, I'm actually going to go into the realm of cannons very nice can uh, stone I don't care about you right now stone okay there we go so now we have guns and so we can like protect ourselves to some degree um, we will need a cargo bay um, to where I will put the cargo bay no idea I think oh don't spaz out over there ship okay I think what we're gonna do with the cargo base since it does need to be um, somewhat protected I think we're gonna put them on the sides for now we don't need very many because we're not gonna be carrying much loot at the moment we just, we'll put them right there and then uh, we have uh, quite a fair more resources so we can go like this to go a bit faster and to slow down a bit faster all I really want is control so we don't bounce into something and go flying off into the distance now there is a slight amount of armor which I would I would like to in, indulge in this armor um, oh I saw the tutorial okay your ship is ready thank you please go away oh no please please just go tutorial leave me nah thank you no okay I'm just okay we'll leave it up there for now um, does there happen to be oh so we need some sort of do they have batteries or is that in titanium um, oh generator okay so that's in titanium but with the eye okay so these are all the tiers with iron you have a specific set of like unit thing we have lights we don't need that uh, we have rotational locks we don't need that we have an iron dock we don't need that because we're not docking anything at the moment so the only thing we could really use is some good old-fashioned solar panels just have enough so that we always have enough and so that we're never crying hopelessly all right there um, that actually does not look too good 
Um, at least right there. That, that looks better. Now it looks like something. Looks like a plane, kind of. I mean, it would not fly in the atmosphere, but looks like a plane, kind of. To some degree. I believe you can actually make things flatter. I don't know how you do that. Um, or maybe... Actually, I do think that is the smallest you can make them. Okay, oh, okay, so we still have this. Your ship has no crew, okay. Um, there are not enough crew members to arm the turrets, not enough maintenance, and your ship is very weak compared to other things. Okay, that, uh, that last one doesn't matter too much, too whole much. I'm gonna add, I believe there is armor. I think this is the third time I've said this now. There is some armor, I think. High durability, high mass. I do think the stone is the equivalent of armor and iron tier. So we will be putting that down where the solar panels are because we're not going to use that anymore. So since most things will be trying to kill us from the front, this is where we'll put some protection. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to do like a criss like a crisscross pattern at the moment. Okay. Uh, so now we can we can blanket this thing with a bit more armor. Okay. Wall that off. Uh, I believe these can still work. I'm actually going to delete that real quick. I believe you can. Um, you can make them bigger over time. Um, you can just increase them, and you can also make these like drone ships in the future, or like tiny fighters. So yeah. Okay, so the next step of our shenanigans is to go find some very stupid crew to follow me in blindly into battle. And into the darker unknowns of this hellish galaxy. Okay, there we go. I think this is, to some degree, enough armoring for now. The thing is going to be very slow, but very well protected. Still says your ship's very weak. I do think we have to spawn it in before that. I be actually believe that's a bug. Okay. Uh, I am going to put some protection at the back. Like little joints to hold them in better. Alright. I think that is good. I think that's good for now. Okay. That is not the prettiest thing, but it, it will do. So we're actually going to save it. Save ship. Um, I've played the game for a little bit. I've made some of these things. They're very nice looking. I've actually done a, f uh, a couple streams. So go see that if you want to. Um, save ship. Oh, we've copied it two times now. Um, okay, so we all, okay. So now it's done. Um, your ship is weak. Okay, so we now we've upgraded that a tiny, a tiny tiny bit. Um, so now we can go to exit out of build mode. Okay, so by pressing B. Okay, so now the thing is maneuverable. I mean, yeah, they're very, very, very slow. Um, actually, let's see how fast forward thrust is. Okay. That's not too bad. I mean, the tiny movements we do are going to be absolutely horrible. Like, those long turns are going to be absolutely absolutely horrible Ooh, okay just snag yourself under that okay I'm gonna get out of the range of fire real quick I'm actually gonna go to that clump let me scan real quick to see if there's any iron okay so that doesn't seem so so I'm gonna get to a safe place real quick and try to make this thing a bit more maneuverable okay I'll be back in just a sec all right, we're gonna make this thing a bit more maneuverable. I don't want it to be faster. I just want it to not flop around as much. Um, so if we put them like down there and there. Never said this thing was gonna be pretty. It's functional. I will make things prettier when I have better resources. Okay. This thing should be a bit more maneuverable. When we have more resources, I actually take time and make things look nice. Okay, so now we can turn on a dime. Um, the next thing we will need to solve is our crew. So we're going to go over here and buy some crew. With how many credits do we have? 
We still have 8,000. Okay, so we still have plenty. So we're gonna go over here and buy some crew to man everything. Must must go slower. Must go slower. Must go slower. My, ooh, uh, whew. Oh, baby. It's like skimming a baby's butt with a knife. It's just not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Okay, so just let me swing around my solar panels. Yeah. Okay, let me swing around. Okay, so now we need to find a docking. Okay, we can dock right here. So let me go into some very nice docking procedures. Okay, I'm actually going to fix my camera. Okay, there we go. So X and Z is to rotate yourself, so rotate. And then Q is to go down, and then A, S, and D is used as normal. Oh, no, da, 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 da. Okay, go up, go up, go up. It's very confusing. Hold it up. Nope, don't spin that way. Don't, no. Upwards, upwards, my compadres. Upwards, okay. We should be able to press F now. Okay. Um, hello, you're now talking to the automatic uh, integration response system of uh, of the resource depot um, rant oh he I guess rant oh he I guess that's how you say it what do you need um, we need to hire some crew um, fine gentlemen so it doesn't oh oh it does so four crews gonna set us back 320 let's actually validate how many we need so we're not just buying willy-nilly I um, believe if you go to crew um, to fully arrange everything, we need five. We need five in gunnery, and we need one in maintenance. Oh, I'm actually going to turn that on so it does automatic assign crew. So we don't have to faff with that. Okay, so we're going to do that, and we are going to buy five. Five. Four hundred bucks. Um, I'm actually going to, since we have a bit amount. Um, okay, so you can hire gunners and maintenance people. That actually costs more, but they actually know how to do their job. But for now, we're just going to go some regular old buckaroos. We're going to buy five of them. Now now that they're on board our ship. Um, P? Okay. So, this is our thing. Morale is 100%. Morale is completely good. Um, we're finding everything. Alright, there we go. What is this? Generals, the highest ranked officer. You need one general for every three commanders oh so this is like the hierarchy uh what is this not mandatory but allow ships to command with you not flying not flying them okay good to know thank you that guy cost a lot of money we're not going to get there for a fair amount of time um what's this you're weak compared actually i'm gonna get rid of this okay there we go Alright, so now that we're fine on that, we can either jump to a new system, or we can do some building. I vote we do some building to patch this thing up a little bit, and maybe extend. Since we do have a fair amount of resources, we still have a 500 iron, which is decently okay. Um, build mode. We go here. Um, I'm just going to outline this with hull. We're gonna make it look a bit better and then we'll probably also give it a paint job and then I think I think I think that may be good for today's episode but we are gonna do quite a bit of building so don't worry a little buckaroos I'm not going anywhere for just a second okay I believe they can still fire through blocks I mean I know that's gonna change eventually as they do upgrade this game but for now I do think that is fine for us to do okay and then we're going to skip that bam mm, we may actually elongate it the other way and start working on like a back section and maybe give it some like trails oh that looks it's already looking better just by adding some like cosmetic things and we can also add stuff to this side and that side um, just to give it like a little bit of finesse okay and then I would like to connect these preferably not with straight lines that would be preferable 
Um, doo -doo -doo. Like that. Like so. Hmm. I don't like that. Okay. Uh, maybe we can do like one block at a time until we get there. Like angle it back and forth. It is a bit lower, but I guess we can like put this in together. And then from here we could like increase it. Okay. And then we can delete that. We can delete that. And then that connects nice together. If we put one block there, that connects fairly okay. Um There we go. So our nice little like ball of you know, compactness and iron and stone to protect our yummy insides. Well, they're not yummy, but they're made out of stone and iron. So they're they're good. They're good for us. I'm, they're not delicious in the slight bit. Please don't eat them. Um, but they are, they are good. Um, how actually... Um, no snap. Global grid. No snap. What if we go no snap? Oh, then we can place them anywhere. Ooh, so this gives you a bit more leniency where you place your stuff. So we can put them like right on the edge. Right on the tippy fibby edge. And then like increase increase them into each other. Okay, and then we'll do that again. Perfect. So this is coming along very nicely. Um, and I think if we make these think what would look nice if we make these a bit a bit smaller and then if we like come off like this it does look very nice okay there we go there we go it's coming together already okay line it up extend it All right, and then we'll make this a bit, well, the same length, but a bit shorter. We need to line this up perfectly, though. Perfect. Perfect geometry. Bam. Nice. It's looking nice. It's looking crisp. It's looking clean. It's looking fresh, delicious. Okay. Um, I think the last thing are, is then like that. And this game is very beautiful when it comes to its building aspects. It is very nice. I'm actually going to turn on the uh, locked grid real quick. So I can actually turn this on. So we can protect our thruster a bit with like some staircase armoring. And then we'll snap it to the back like that. Ah, nice. 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 So I think in the next episode, what we will do is extend the front a little bit um, to, oh, autosave. Oh, that's very nice. It autosaves your stuff. Like from the dumps. Oh, work for on stuff for hours and it disappears. All right. Either way, with my salt aside, um, I think what we'll do is like in the back, we'll extend it in the front. Um, so it looks a bit better. Okay. So we have added enough armor. That thing went away. Uh, we do not have enough mechanics, so that does mean we will take a bit of damage very slowly. Um, only because we have made the ship bigger, it does need a tiny bit more maintenance than we are giving it. Actually, like that. There we go. Uh, may you know what? Maybe not. We'll take that away. Um, so, first thing next episode, we need to go on a mining expedition, and then we'll extend the front, and I think that's what we'll do for the next episode. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please give us some feedback. If you like it, if you dislike it, um, you can also always represent that in the thumbs up and thumbs down section of the description or uh, the, the bottom section of the videos down below. Please leave a comment telling me how I was stupid and what else I could do better to fix myself and the content. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Atlas Gamer, and bye-bye. Uh,